<laughs> they both did it.
Hello, hello. What is going on, guys? Had some OBS trouble in the beginning. Don't know why it crashed. That was kind of odd. But so far, it uh, it said it reconnected, and I double checked, and it did. So hopefully, there's no uh, any more errors. But anyways, let's go ahead and get the game started. Awesome, awesome. Go ahead and switch over. There we go. All right. So again, I'll go and do some slight training. Nothing too crazy. Probably like a session or two. Uh, let me actually switch over to that one. And we'll just do some, uh, training really quick.
Should have some music in the background for you guys. I'm getting distracted by thinking. I'm not uh, focusing. Also wanted to try out a different color uh, red dot. I know it's usually called red dot for a reason. But I'm going to go ahead and try out uh, black. I've seen someone use it and uh, kind of just... You know, I never... I know a lot of people can change to like blue. Or like magenta. I know that's another popular one. Sometimes green. But I've seen someone use black and I was like... Might as well try that. Because, uh, generally speaking, I know where the middle is. But, uh, I know when it comes to, uh, like dark corners, having a red dot, it's kind of. The red dot kind of shines brighter and it's harder uh, to see the enemy. Time, uh, really. At least, that's kind of. how I see it you know maybe not all the time I might be overthinking it but I just want to try out something new let me go and switch over to the next one. Oh, don't have that much time left Trust your okay instincts. cool it'll get you there All right, let me go ahead and try ACOG. That was weird. There we go. Well, that's way better for following. Although I do move my wrists a little bit more, but that's to be expected because it's zoomed in. Priority phone call for Ash on secure line three. Let me switch over. See, that's one thing that I do want to work on is, I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if it's just me or if it's like normal, but I feel like my aim is kind of stuttery. Like I feel like I need to work on that. Like maybe I'm pushing too hard on the mouse. Maybe my hand or wrist, I feel like my wrist might be too tense. I'm not too sure. But I know that's there's a few things that I do need to work on. Let me go and switch over. Probably switch over to the one that's above. Want me to get in there? Right there. And then after this, I'll go and try the matchmaking. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get what happened. You know, what happened to me yesterday with the whole matchmaking taking 40 minutes and not even finding a match and then getting a penalty. Like, yo, that was so ridiculous. So hopefully I get to play more than just one match. Because yesterday that's all I got to play. And it was... It was you know, I don't like to bag. I don't like to be so negative, but... um. Kind of a trash match yesterday. Maybe it was a server issue? I don't know. But, uh, let's see. Right. Standard mode. Oh, okay. The standard. Nice. Red? I mean, red's not too bad. Honestly, I'd rather... I don't mind trying out different colors for the site.
but I can see myself probably using red or black more often than any other color like you know magenta I try I even looked at yellow yellow <laughs> I don't know I feel like yellow is too bright I tried looking at blue but blue is too bright as well look at that estimated wait time 43 seconds can't even guarantee the estimated time Which it is what it is, you know, matchmaking isn't perfect, but 40 minutes, like, that's a whole nother ball game. I feel like I should play some music. Go ahead and do that, actually. Get pumped up a little bit. <laughs> See if there's any. Uh... Oh, there we go. I don't know how loud the music is. I might need to turn it down. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, pause the music though, because the game's gonna <laughs> the game's gonna start. All right, I'm somewhat familiar with this match or with this map. Nomad. Looks like everyone's kind of spawning on their own. I'll go with him. They need to locate a bomb. All right, let's go. Also adjusted a few of my settings yesterday that I haven't even got to try out. So hopefully, uh, okay, there's no bomb down here. Probably upstairs. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. Alright, let's go. Feels so weird I haven't played in a while. I think I hear them, I don't know. Just in case. I know they're not on the ground floor. Let me go with, with, with my teammates because... Because it's always better to have more people in one area than just 
me by myself. Nice. Let me go and peek out this window. Whoa, a little bit of lag. Fifteen seconds left. Take it out, take it out. Come on. Nice. Oh, come on. I just started. He kept getting in my way. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Plus, I... I mean, I kind of wasted time. I'll be... I'll, I'll take account for that. I kind of wasted time, uh... Being on the other side of the map. We were doing good taking them out, too. Hey, I was just over here. <laughs> nope, they're not over here. Drone has located a bomb. Ooh, that's a new one. Is it? I don't remember. Oh gosh, now I'm lost. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to go. Oh, come on. Nice. Are they going to try to flank? The diffuser is no longer in your possession. My air job is deployed. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I was peeking out too much. I couldn't see behind me. Look at that guy's using a uh, the black uh, sight, black red dot sight. That doesn't make sense. Gotta reload. That's it. Just those two. Do 
He's in the room next to you. Well, I guess he's shooting up. Bad aim. Bad aim. I mean, there's a hatch right there. Did he take damage from his own device? You got 40 seconds left. The what, 2v3. Man, I feel like I feel like not having a FPS session yesterday kind of messed me up. I feel like I'm rusty already. Damn. Friend, 15 seconds left. 10 seconds remaining. Your has been secured. Ah. Oh. Damn. Been eliminated. Look at he's using a he's using a black tight too. It's getting more popular. Let's see, let's see. We need to locate a bomb. There's another jet flying over me. What the heck? There were like five of them yesterday. Is this no? <laughs> it's a good spot. Ten seconds before insertion. This guy keeps messing up. <laughs> Five seconds to go. And this guy's not even moving. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. already oh gosh it's already a 2v5 Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, my aim was trash. Of course. See, they're smart to push when there's only one person left. Like, every, everyone on my team died. Such a bummer. Holy cow, dude, I can't even. This is insane. Protect the bombs. Whoa. 
Op 4 has located a bomb. Plan your defenses accordingly. What do I scan? That's fine. There's literally no way. I'm gonna have to do this side. Five seconds in counting. Op 4 has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Ah, there could have been better spots for me to, uh... I feel like someone's gonna... These ball, th these balls, these walls are not reinforced. So I feel like they're gonna blow them up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my team is. Ugh. No comment, this is just a trash match. Yo, what's going on, random? One friendly remaining. Nice. Trying to ping him. Bomb diffuser in place. Op for last stop standing. Located the diffuser. Destroy it. Friendly destroy the diffuser. Nice. Mission successful. Wow, that is. So they were moving too slow then. You had a bad day today? Oh no, dude. Hopefully I can make it better. Hopefully your day goes better from here on out. Yeah, I have bad dates here and there too. So it happens to the best of us. Take some trauma plates. Located a bomb. Ready for a bomb. Shield set. Device climbed. Keep an eye on door. Mm. Let them come. Ten seconds remaining. Down to five seconds. Op four has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Okay, so there's no way that they could come from there.
Oh, got triggered? Wow. I don't have one there. Uh, I can't find a good spot. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I can't find a good spot. I feel like I'm just open everywhere. Nice. Friendly, last operator standing. Op four, last he has a right shield. He has a right shield. Watch out. He's coming from the stairs. He might be behind you. Damn. GG's. You were testing a new gun you bought and it exploded in your hand. Luckily, it did not have a lethal round, but still could have bled out if not careful. Yeah, that's insane, dude. Always got to be careful, with especially with any type of firearm, any type of explosive, if you think about it. You know, even a bullet is explosive because uh, the firing pin and, uh, you know, all, all that stuff. But I'm glad you're you're good, dude. You know, when I was in the military, they taught us all about, you know, being careful and all that. So. Yeah, it's stuff like that. You always got to take, like, precautions on anything. Even though you're a pro, like, you always got to take precautions. You know, same thing with me and uh, automotive. You know, even autom anything automotive can be dangerous. You know, uh, especially when you're test driving and after you took everything apart and you put it back together. Uh, that's actually happened to me before. Um, well, I didn't work on the vehicle. I well, Okay, so long story short, um, I got off work. I was driving home and uh, I was driving my 1986 uh, Toyota MR2 AW11. It was all white. I still have it, actually. I plan on converting it from gasoline to all electric. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, so I was driving home and the belt tore, the timing belt tore while I was driving. Luckily, it's a non-interference engine, so the engine is definitely repairable. The valves do not get bent, but still like that could have caused a crazy accident. Um, I've also had another uh, Another incident where I actually did try to repair the belt, but uh, the pin, the pin that holds the, that holds the tension, the belt tensioner, the pin that holds the belt tensioner on that same car as I was trying to repair the timing belt, I was trying to time the car back up because the valves weren't timed with the pistons, so I had to do all that. And uh, yeah, the pin just popped out while I was driving. And um, that's actually another reason why uh, <laughs> why I can't drive the car to this day. But luckily I had everything under control. I had everything under precaution. I was driving in my local neighborhood going, you know, 10 miles an hour because, you know, you always got to be cautious, work your way up. But yeah, I can't imagine firearm. Firearm is, you know, I mean, it's, it's in your hands. You know, that's, that's pretty dangerous, especially explosives in your hands. And 
it's not like calibrated right. It's been a while since I worked with firearm. He's going to you, Elsie. Watch out. Cool. Drone going out. One th yeah, one thing's in. You're going to enlist for the Navy. Nice, dude. I was in the Navy. I've, I was in the Navy for eight years, and uh, my job was an FC. I was a fire controlman. And I was an FC2. And yeah, fun times, fun times. Don't regret anything regarding the Navy. Just probably wouldn't <laughs> re-enlist. Just the uh, bad leadership, you know. But that goes with any job if you think about it. The only thing about the military is, you know, you, you live at your job, basically. So that's the difference between having a job and, uh... We gotta hurry up, we got a minute left. How do I get downstairs? Oh, come on. He's guarding the defuse. I pinned it. Or ping it. <laughs> Repulsion device planted. late. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds left. Oh, I need to reload. I don't have time. Run out of time. Uh. Yo, Charles, what's going on, dude? Seems like the matchmaking is working. You just need to rush more. Animal Quackers. That name looks familiar. How's your day going, Charles? Hopefully it is going A-OK. -okay. And Random, do you know what job you want to do in the Navy? Maybe I could have any suggestions. I feel like you might be a good um, GM. Gunner's mate, if you're if you like uh, weaponry, but if you like technology and weaponry, then I would su suggest you maybe doing possibly an FC like I was. FC is a basically a mix of a gunner's mate and a electrician. You're in Europe. Nice, dude. Mm, I like guns. And you like making things. I'm going for gunsmith. I don't. Five seconds. I don't think they have gunsmiths in in the navy. They have a gunner's mate, but a gunsmith as in making things. I don't think. I mean, as far as I know, I mean, I don't think the military will allow you to make things specifically, but. You could, you could uh, take the ASVAB, see what score you get, and then from there, 
uh, they'll uh, show you what options you have regarding your occupation. But they'll, they'll let you take a ASVAB for uh, a test ASVAB at the, any recruiting station. Oh, in Europe, you're in Europe for a vacation? That's pretty sick, dude. The diffuser is no longer in your possession. Airjab is ready. I got B-Site covered in air jabs. Well, he's got... Nice! That's what I'm talking about. What, uh, what, uh, uh, if you're okay, what, a uh, country? Country? Yeah, what country are you in in Europe? I've always wanted to visit uh, Spain or France. Um, another one. I know there's a few few more countries in uh, Europe that I do want to go to. The UK. Dude, you're gonna visit your your real parents in the motherland, Russia. Pretty cool, dude. Since they sent you to the U.S. with your granddad. Sounds awesome. We need to locate a bomb. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. Already. Dang it. Can I not ping him? Ten seconds. <clears throat> Five seconds. Nice. You found a bomb. Make Oops. your way to its location <laughs> and defuse it. Italy! Oh, that's pretty sick. That's another one I want to go to. Ooh, they're good. Watch out, that window's open.
Well, uh, did that even work? Did I? My device is Did I shoot over there? Nice. You got the plan, dude. Nice! Four Woo! This is a good team. This is not actually a school trip. It's not actually a school trip. Or it's not. It's actually a school trip. I'm <laughs> English is such a confusing language. So you're in Italy for a school trip? I remember people in high school, in, uh, in, uh, when I went to high school. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, I remember when I, when I went to high school, people used to go to, uh, Italy. But I think it was mainly for the people in <laughs> Italian the class. Protected. Oh no, what a- oh, okay. Dude, really? Dang, they're just taking them out? You guys are savage. This guy wanted to ace so bad. <laughs> nice. He flanked them. Nice flank. It is a school trip. You wrote incorrect. You're good, dude. You're good. <laughs> just clarifying. I'm just clarifying. Is the school trip at least fun? <laughs> I'm assuming you're doing things like every day. If it's a school trip, then. 
really there's some time to relax but you're typically if you know if there's one or two maybe even three teachers there they always have you doing something but the, here's the good thing about a school trip is you find out all the little secret spots all the educational spots because i learned uh, all the educational spots um you know i took mental notes of where all the educational spots are and now i take my daughter there No. <laughs> Door secured. Ambush set. Stay clear. Nice. Put that right there. There's one left? Are you serious? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I think he's going to B site. Yeah, he's at B site. He's at B site. He's in the bathroom. Nice. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm gonna go and add these guys. That's crazy, I only had one death. One kill and only one death. Still did a good amount of points, I think. Um, I will be right back. Uh, I need water to go use, break. oh, it's a water break. Okay, so I'll be right back. I actually need to go use the restroom. So, since I'm going to go use the restroom, I'm actually going to go ahead and put some music on for you guys. Oh my gosh, is that too loud? Oh no, that's not crazy loud. Okay, I'll be back, guys.
All right, I'm back. Go ahead and um, let's go ahead and start a game. Once the game starts, then I will go ahead and pause the music. But Charles, uh, what? Since it's a school trip, is it like a certain class that uh, you're going with, or is it like? Like a whole grade because I know there are school trips that I remember when I was in high school that uh or I don't even ask is it a high school trip a college trip I'm all thinking of high school <laughs> I did take college trips too when I when I was in college but uh I'm assuming it might be a class thing well I guess it depends because I remember in high school. Um, sometimes it'd be like the whole entire grade, like 12th grade, 11th grade, you know, the school would take that whole grade out to a certain place, or sometimes it'd just be a small class thing, uh, either in college or in, uh, high school and college, they'd sometimes, uh, mix classes. Well, depending on the per professor, because if one professor was teaching multiple classes, uh, sometimes he'd uh, bring all of his classes because they talk about somewhat similar things. Like I'll give you an example. One of my professors, he used to teach uh, uh, geology and he taught environmental science. So he'd bring both of those classes to his uh, field trips. So uh, that's an example of a college trip, I guess. Oh, there we go. Let me go ahead and pause the music. There we go. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking about the right barricade. Okay, this map I'm I think I'm pretty decent on. But let's see. <coughs> I've always found field trips to be fun. Or at least I tried my best to make, you know, to make the best out of the situation. To locate a bomb. I've always tried to make things positive like that. But that's just me. I think they're on the second floor. I just got shot on the stairs. No. Watch out, Moose. He's on the stairs. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds. Why did everyone stop moving? <clears throat> you must locate and defuse a bomb. Nice.
I don't see him. Ah. Oh. One friendly operator remaining. Oh my gosh, yeah. Bruh. Ugh. That, there was absolutely no teamwork in there. I have a feeling they might be in the garage this time. Those are kind of the two most popular areas. And then there's one between the garage. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. Okay, yeah, I think that's the one. Did he shoot my... I think he did shoot it. The diffuser is no longer in your possession. You have been spotted. Device ready. Did some... Did they really drop? Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess I used to be like that. Still not a good tactic, though. Damn. Down to one. Oh, my gosh. He was just waiting there. He knew I was there. That's insane. They found my camera. Air jab triggered. Okay. Op four last op standing. Nice. One on one. The diffuser is now secured. Ah, there's no cameras. Peek, dude. Okay. His laser. His laser showing his, uh... Fifteen seconds left. No, he's right there, dude. Oh, my gosh. I saw him. Bro, they're both holding the wrong angle. Oh, my gosh. If you're peeking to the left and you're leaning to the right, 
that kind of gives you a disadvantage or vice versa <laughs> oh man Garage, maybe? I have a feeling they're in the garage. Yeah, like everyone's going there. Why can't I ping? Oh, come on. I moved and then he saw me. Insertion in five seconds. A bomb must be located and defused. Bro's just rushing. Replicator online. You located a bomb. Enemy tag coming out. Nice. Oh, he shot through the rim? What the heck? Oh my gosh, that's insane. Fuser is now secured. Op four last operator I think he's by the car. I could be wrong. Bomb diffusion initiated. Ah! The Bruh. They had that trapped. Holy cow. Four eliminated. Friendly mission successful. Oh yeah, he's, he was upstairs. <laughs> That's insane. Council room is oh yeah. I know that one. I think I have to... Okay, cool. Camera in position. Uh, has located a bomb. Plan your defense I've, uh, have I ever done this room? I don't remember. here when there's a fucking doll right here motherfucker Jesus if he talks like that again I'm gonna mute him 
He didn't really say who he was talking to. Nice. Nice. Four eliminated. Mission successful. <clears throat> I feel like garage is a good one, yeah. Is he gonna? Okay. Protect the bombs. Be advised, a bomb location has been compromised. Nope, nope, a little lower. Perfect. Do one more. Just in case they try to flank. Door barricaded! Five seconds left. Op four has located a bomb. You know, I forgot to put my camera up. <laughs> Gotta be careful. It's always wide open. They already have a bulletproof camera on, on B. Changing mags. Damn, it's a 2v3, 2v2, 2v3. Friendly, last operator standing. Friendly is victorious. Hostile.
Hostiles eliminated. Dang, double kill? Oh, nice. Not bad. That is why you put barricades where you put cap cam bombs. That is exactly why. You're in a match. Yes, I am. I am in a match. I'll probably play one more match after this. We'll see. Should have enough time. Secure the bombs. And one over here. Device prime. Keep an eye on door. All set. Ten seconds to insertion. Doorway barricaded. I need to go Five do seconds. a. Secure the wall. Increase surveillance on bombs. Op four has a diffuser. Damn. They have two people trying to reconnect. I don't want to get in his way. Op four, last operator standing. Op four is defusing a bomb. You need to disable their diffuser. Where the heck are they? Oh, nice. From that far away? Bomb diffuser has been disabled. Mission successful. You're in Italy for sport? Oh, that's pretty sick, dude. <clears throat> that sounds pretty fun. <clears throat> Yeah, probably one more game. <clears throat> that was a pretty good match. Attackers, I need to get better at attacking. I feel like I'm pretty decent at defending. I wish I had more time <laughs> to prepare because I have my cap cam bombs. I have to reinforce. I have the barricade and I have to uh, use my gadget. Ooh, nice. We're defending first. Emerald Plains. Uh, I'm not a fan of this one. 
then I'll... You gotta go. I'll be back in a few minutes. Sounds good. Random. Hopefully I do see you later, dude. For rugby? Oh, that's pretty cool. Force these really quick. Well, this reinforced. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds left. Op four has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Already? That's wild. Doorway barricaded. I feel like I could do better with this angle. Two v four? Are you serious? Nice. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Friendly, last operator standing. I just need the points. I'm just doing that. God, come on. He was right in my sight. Ah, I should have just held it. Oh my gosh. Peeking is literally the only thing that will give you away. TO office again. I guess. You're getting paid to play? Nice, dude. It's always good to get paid to play. Protect the bombs. Located a bomb. Get ready to engage. 
I have one more, one more, one more. Come on, come on, come on. I have enough time. But why is he barricading that wall? Ah, oh, we're getting sandwiched. We're getting sandwiched. There's no way. Ah, oh, it was a little bit to the left. See, I knew they were coming from over there. Watch out, watch out, mid. Watch, er. Is that his name? Mid? Yeah. Damn, they got my camera. Ah, uh, there's no good cameras. One four remaining. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Four eliminated. Mission successful. Oh, you didn't play Monday, but you played today? Uh, lounge. Is lounge a good one? Kitchen. They're just... Okay. They're going for the next one down. Don't know if this is a good one. I don't remember playing this match or this map too much. side that he's coming on. Doorway barricaded. EDD prime. Stand clear. This entrance. EDD Prime. Stand clear. There's so much to do. I don't like how that's open. Probably gonna close it off. Barricade off. I see you. They downed his teammate. No wonder it was a 2v. He knew I was coming. Damn. He knew I was coming because he demos me.
All three on the stairs. Oops. They're out now. Nice, nice, nice. Sick! Oh my gosh. That was pretty wild. I'd say front gate. Oh, he's gonna play his demos? It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I figured I was on the bottom. <laughs> Yo, my ping is nine. That's insane. Yeah, like, I don't even know this map. Your drone has found a bomb. Bigger CEO office. Oh, he shot my camera. He had to have. Did he shoot my... Did bro really shoot my my equipment? Loading Q -Mag. My device is planted. Dude, we got like <laughs> Four last operator standing. Wow, that was too close. <clears throat> nice. Friendly mission successful. Did you see that? There's absolutely no recoil. You got to go, Charles. All right, dude. It was good having you in chat. Hopefully, I see you tomorrow. Did you see that or was that just me? I swore that guy did not have any recoil. A little suspicious. We didn't even def try defusing the bomb. We just tried eliminating them. Interesting. Second floor, painting gallery, meeting room.
10 seconds. Five seconds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was literally right above me. All right, these guys are rappling. I guess I'll go with them. Torch ready to go. Why are these guys putting uh, flame morphs there? Someone's here right next to me. Oh, what? Bruh, they got us. Top four last stop standing. Ooh, 1v1. He's just spamming. That's a lot of recoil. Surprised he can control it. Oh, snap. Oh, did he run out of ammo? This is literally a 1v1. He's literally one shot. His health was so low, though. You can late until the match is done. Okay. You can stay until the match is done. Nice. Yeah, this will probably be my last match for uh, today. So once uh whoever wins looks like we might win but the turn the the turns can table the tables can turn we need to locate a bomb be advised your drone has located a bomb oh nice i figured it was right there Ah, <laughs> man, I didn't think he was going to see me if I didn't move. Dude, he's like, right. He's obvious. He barely made it. That is so funny. Wow, that was pointless. My drone just bounced back. Oh my gosh. I was rushing too much.
Just so one that he threw it is. Dang, dude. Smart. He was peeking. Wasn't he crouching on the ground? Dang. Holy cow. This guy's uh pretty crazy. You got a sensitivity pretty high. <laughs> Yo, this match I did terrible. I did absolutely terrible. Are my feet in the ground? Did you see that? All right, well, that was the last match. I'm glad it uh, actually worked out today compared to yesterday. Ooh, I got a, I got a pack. I wonder, did I get any pen penalties? My, my reputation is still exemplary, which is good. Let's go and open up this pack. See what I got. You have been consistently commended by your peers and will receive a boost in alpha pack drops as well as being highlighted for your next match. If you keep getting commended, your streak continues alongside its benefits. Thank you for being a positive influence in Rainbow Six Siege. That's cool. All right. Looks like that is it for today regarding Rainbow Six. Also, I got two of them. Uh, I like this one more. Oh, I have enough to unlock the next, uh, next one. I was thinking about who frost, I was thinking about doing frost, right? Cause I unlocked the ying for the attacker. So now I wanted to do a defenders. Hmm. Okay. Let me go in and unlock her. And then maybe I'll try her out next time. Or maybe the time after that. I don't know. Cap Can's pretty good. He's He's been my main. But, uh, okay. Let me go and switch screens really quick. And I will be back. Yo! Boss Brown. I don't see you in my chat. I just saw you on the screen. Oh, are you in the mobile one? What is that? Wow. Is that white out? Okay, that one. Boss Brown, what's going cool. on? That came off pretty easy. So did that one and now you're on PC. Okay. <laughs> so I, I actually have two streams going on. So I have the mobile version, which looks kinda funny on PC and then I have the landscape version so it looks like YouTube decided to put my 
mobile version no. up uh, first. But I do have my landscape oh. version, which does look a lot better. I can use this. Oh, yeah. Let me open it for you. But yeah, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my lunch break. So I will be back. We will finish slide two. And so then gonna, we will open this up for my wife really quick. <laughs> and then we will like play some Jack Three. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. I will be right back. What a break. You simpletons doing? You're supposed to...
Let's see if this can take it off. Gotta be careful though, don't want to damage the casing. Worst case, I can... I can just put more alcohol, hopefully that'll, uh, like, uh, water down, liquefy it, I guess, maybe. Some of it's coming off. And one, one is about to die. One, uh, speaker. And there we go. We got most of it off. Let me go ahead and use the alcohol on the rest of it. Oh, making an X? Oh, nice. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Look how easy that was. So far, so good. Really liked how this came out. Wipe the inside real quick. Cool. Alright, I will have to work on those scuffs. If I can do that later. Oh yeah. In the meantime, let me go ahead and uh, dust off the silicone mat really quick. I'll be right back. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Woo! <laughs> 
Baker Alpha Foxtrot, and this is the wizard. Do you read me, Sitting Duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, oh, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're Sitting Duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you gotta loosen up. If we're gonna get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Spotlights are offline. There goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Furry should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. Citizen, I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Maria, I kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. <laughs> Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. 
I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comnita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! You can't run forever! Oh jeez! Wait up, Sly! Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. Stop, thief! This wasn't part of the plan! Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Freeze! This is getting a little hot. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. Hold still!
Cause I am sure hungry for one help! Help! Let's go to open this up. Check it out. Alright. Open up the back. Looks like it will be taking a smaller bit. Let me get a uh, Phillips size one. Where did my uh, thing go? Let me see. Right here. Cool. All right, Pope's one. Should fit a little bit better. I'm also gonna be putting this back. Won't be leaving that. All right, let's open it up. Wow, there's one. That is magnetic, yeah. That one's, oh my gosh, that one is rusted. Check that out. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh my gosh, 
Sorry, guys. Disgusting. A little disgusting. Uh, let me go ahead and open up the rest. Cool. Board doesn't look too bad. Alright. Let me go ahead and dust this off really quick. And I will be right back. Not too bad. Cleaned it up quite a bit. Still needs a little bit. Let me go ahead and clean these. Wow, that's pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna dust this one off next. You're given three options. A, to go back in time and fight against Napoleon. B, to join the, the Hannibal and fight the Rome. C, to join China and fight the Mongol Empire. Mongolian Empire. Uh, that's a hard one. I'd have to do my research on that. But uh, going back to Zenderman. Am I allowed to promote your channel in my Discord that you're in? Sure, why not? Uh, I don't see a problem, so uh, feel free. Appreciate that. Same thing with this one. I did clean it a uh, decent amount. Still needs some cleaning, which I will uh, eventually get to. There's really nothing much I can do on here. Yeast? I thought you said weast. Goku? 
I have an excellent training partner for you today. <laughs> it's my lucky day. Looks like I get to finish you off a second time, don't I? <laughs> I hate to spoil your fun, but I don't think we can die twice, right? You have nothing to fear, so go at it, you two! No, I can't believe it. Hello, hello. Dude, what is going on, guys? <laughs> What's going <laughs> on, Muffin? Can't myself. I'm really powered up. Glad to see you here. Yeah. Well, Let me go ahead cool. and change the thumbnail and title really quick. Listen, the enemy is even stronger than we imagined. We can't afford to hold back even for a second. How are your guys' day Thanks going? Hopefully, it's going good. If this doesn't work, I'll come see you again. You're so tired. I get it, I get it. Been sleeping at three. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Uh, gosh. You know, never mind. I'm not even going to suggest that. <laughs> I know a way to fix that, and I've done it before, but I wouldn't suggest anyone else doing what I did. Um, but I remember those days when I used to sleep at three. I mean, I still sleep. Uh, at like midnight or one o'clock in the morning and lately I've been waking up at like seven I think 
Yeah. Takes a, takes a while to fix your sleep schedule, your biological sleep schedule. Where is it? We're sly. There it is. Yeah, I'll do that one. Right, there's one. Hopefully this will fix chat as well. Because uh, the chat that's showing on screen is actually the mobile one. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. And I have a really good feeling I'm going to finish Sly today and I'm going to start Jack 3. Yo, the way they talk in Banjo Kazooie still cracks me up. Well, let me go ahead and. Ooh, I think I fixed it. Bot Rix has correctly joined the chat. Nice. Let's see. Does it pop up on screen? Oh, it does. Nice. Okay, starting it up. And let me go ahead and fix live stream. Transition over. And let me go ahead and restart it really quick. Oh, did I just pause it? Uh, slide, slide two, slide two. You are? Nice. But yeah, I mean, regarding sleep, sleep is important, no doubt. Here's a good question. I know something, I know if you take naps during the day, that might mess up your sleep, your biological sleep pattern. Let me skip this. But I don't know if you take <laughs> naps. <laughs> I don't take naps. <laughs> I take naps once in a blue moon. Like once I'm done streaming. But uh, I mean, lately I haven't really been taking naps at all. Now I usually, my naps are usually consist of like 10 minutes just to like give my brain a rest. <laughs> if it's really been like a eventful day or something or something crazy. But if you don't take naps, I mean, there could be other things that could be disturbing your uh, sleepy patterns. But I don't know. Maybe I can I could uh, DM you a suggestion. I don't I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on stream. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and do Murph. I was going to say Murphy. Murray's uh, mission first. There's a uh, moose. Oh. Okay. 
Let me see. <laughs> it's just belly, belly flopped on him. Where is it again? It is bear cub kidnapping. Oh no, I remember this one. Look at all these bear traps. Let's get it! What do I gotta do? Oh, snap! Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to take them all out? I think I messed up. I don't, am I supposed to not open the door? Oh, right. it's up there. Okay, so. Oh, Carmelita's still on the loose. Oh, snap. Anyways, how's school going? How's uh, history? Oh, gosh. Thinking about getting that bottle real quick. Ooh, I almost fell. Oh my gosh. Nope. Tell me. <laughs> yeah, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, wrong button. Oh, wrong button. There we go. You're burnt out? Oh, I remember uh, being burnt out from school. It was not fun. Why were you 20 seconds behind? <laughs> Earlier, I was actually 20 seconds behind, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the bear, he's just standing. Carmelita. Bruh. What the heck's going on? They're both coming after me. Where's the... Oh, it's over there. Are they still after? I can't see! Are they still after me? Oh, they're still fighting each other. 
That is funny. Oh, I can't go this way. Or maybe I can. Can I throw? <laughs> I don't condone this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dang. Got some attitude. That's crazy. Oh, really? He's gonna come over here? <laughs> I'm gonna surprise him. <gasps> oh my gosh! I And I missed. <laughs> hopefully there... Hopefully Mama Bear isn't... Gonna be coming over here. Bro, my health is so low. No! Are you serious? Is the bear really going with... Hold on. Go, 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 go! Okay, it's over there. Literally in the middle of the map. Are you serious? There's two more bear cubs? Oh, is that mama bear? Oh, the... Where's the cub at? I feel like that's... What is this? Alright, let me go over there then. My health is so dangerously low. walking <gasps> go 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 the cave opening is also over here so I gotta be careful Machine's pretty slow. Oh, there's only two openings. <gasps> no, no, freaking mole. I literally had a sliver of health. Gosh, there's a mama bear.
I gotta drop. Look both ways before crossing. Nice. Oh, they're... Are they fighting each other? Dang! Murray's right there? <laughs> Did his belt just drop at the end? Whoa, why am I 15 seconds behind on stream? <laughs> So now what? Bentley's turn? It is. Let's go, Bentley! You know, next time I get a turtle, I'm probably going to call it Bentley. gonna be a little tricky whoa a little bit too close for comfort oh there's Carmelita what the heck whoa what the heck can I put her to sleep I wonder no I can't that was a good try. Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done, provided I can catch up with that train. Going over here, huh? Nice! Yo, that was so slick. This had better work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bobs and the square button shoots forward. Oh, I gotta... Oh, I gotta bomb him. Nice. Oh no, I almost got hit. <laughs> that is crazy how fast I can shoot. Nice. It's not even auto fire either.
Not bad. Nice. Nice. Yo, Zenderman, what's going on, dude? Hopefully, your day is going good. Oops. Oh, I gotta go back. Oh, wait. Sly mission up there. Wait, can I trick it? Where's the bear? Oh, snap! The train! I'm doing pretty good. Marking exams. 598 left? Oh, gosh. That is a ton, dude. Good luck on that. I'm doing pretty good. Streaming. Probably going to finish slide today. And then some Jack 3. After Jack 3, it's going to be Pokemon. Looking forward to that. Oh, snap. Yo, Pika fam. What's going on, dude? I think I have to go up here. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Take him out really quick. Oh, nice. It's a vibe. Most are biology. Sounds fun. <laughs> oh, he didn't even get triggered. Oh my gosh. Sick. Oh my gosh. They're gonna have to be light hops. Oh snap, hold on. All right, I'm back. Okay, sorry, got a little distracted. Something was on my table. Oh, come on. Oh. Water break. Water break already. Nice. All right. Uh, how am I going to take these guys out?
Oh my gosh, that was a close one. Oh my gosh, Sly, don't start. Please don't start today. I am not trying to have a bunch of misclicks. Uh, what? Misclicks? I just messed up. I'll get him right now. Are they going to go away? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I peeked at the wrong time. Oh my gosh, I have to start over. I really wish I had that uh, timer, the, the alarm clock. Health, I'll take that. All right, let's go. Nice. I'm gonna just have to take these guys out. Let me see, Pika fan. Oh, oh, my gosh. You know, I was watching a video talking about old games and then Sly Cooper was mentioned. Because of that, I learned that there's a certified baddie at one point in the game. Man, I hate myself for saying that. <laughs> I told you. No, I'm, jo <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, but Sly Cooper, the story's pretty good. I'm going to have to wait for them to come back. Come over here. Dang it. He's going to have to turn around. Zen, why are you encouraging him? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Let me just take him out. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Nice. Oh, I got seen. <laughs> Bro, three of them? Oh gosh, all three of them are shooting now. Four of them! <laughs> There's four of them! Bruh. <laughs> they all went down. One more, one more, one more. Oh, I ran out. Forgot about that one. All right, cool, cool. Nice, got the other iron lung. Fantastic. We are raking in the clockwork, parts left and right. 
So I know I made a quick uh, post last night. At least for me, it's last night. Uh, for you guys, for you crowd control okay, testers. Guys, this is it. Hold on, let me let Time this go. To break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new handcar. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook train robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? But yeah, uh, so Friday. Friday is going to be the day where we're going to be doing public crowd control testing on this channel. So hope to see you guys there. That's going to be fun. Who knows? I... I got up to uh, working on the DS. <laughs> so I got Game Boy games. I got Game Boy Advance games. And now I'm working on the DS. Imagine that. Playing Pokemon Platinum or Pokemon Black or Black 2 for crowd control. That's going to be insane. But uh, that's only if all the other coding is good and... You guys are satisfied with what there is. Uh, let me go and get Murray. So we can literally play all the OG games. Gen 1, Gen 2. Hop aboard, guys. We've got a train to catch. Then Gen 3 and maybe Gen 4. I'm still doing some work on Gen 4, though. It's still in, like, beta. I'd say. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? <laughs> it still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcar at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. But, uh, here's another thing that I don't have implemented that I actually found out that Twitch Plays Pokemon does have. And let me know if it's something you want you guys want me to implement and that is the the what is it called anarchy and democracy so let me know if that's something you guys would want me to try oh, i can't even go that way there's stuff in the storage oh that guy's falling asleep Bruh, really? GG's. He, what? Dude, they're shooting backwards. Ain't no way they, <laughs> that's fair. Nice. Oh, there's Gene. They call him Bison. Do I have to hide the behind one of his posts? The way he talks, his voice sounds familiar. Oh, there's a uh, what? What's her name? Nyla? Is that her name? Hey, Koopa. Nila. I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. <laughs> if you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping. Maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? 
afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Nila's got me pinned down. <laughs> Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC. Sick. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? <laughs> All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. Let's get it. Oh no! Holy cow! My hand's getting tired. <laughs> this is a what? Oh no! Oh no! That was some fancy flying, little. Flying. Holy cow! Whatever you say, poodle. Damn, bad. <laughs> Yo, for a second I thought I was gonna get stuck on that screen. He's walking around him. Is he gonna wake up? Yep. Damn. Right there. Bruh. Oh my gosh, dude. Do I have to redo this whole thing? I probably have to redo this whole thing. Alright, cool. I got full health. Oh my gosh! Bruh. Well, there's one. There's two. Oh, I gotta walk around. I have to jump across? Holy smokes, dude. Alright, hold on. Right there. He can't see me. <laughs> oh, health. I will take that. There we go. Go by really quick. Sick. Sons wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well placed bomb down the train's smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast. Again? Dang it. Oh, I have to drop bombs. Dang it. Bruh. Oh my gosh. GG's. Oh, come on. Batty moment. 
too. <laughs> Bruh, she was so close. Oh my gosh, my hand got so tired. I've seen enough baddie for today. <laughs> Sounds good, Pika fan. Hope to see you later, dude. Got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. On to the next level. Pretty sick. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Vassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, <laughs> what if they replaced Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Dang. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Menace in the North, eh? <laughs> Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, what? and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Bassan and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Bisson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. Pathevius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Bisson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Dang. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. In the North Atlantic. Menace from the North, eh? Oh, so it's just the title of the... Okay, that makes sense. Uh, okay. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blip is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork braid is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blip. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off Jean Bisson. Time is short, and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Oh. Useful for ice Oh, climbing. nice. That's right. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Yeah, look, my pick is shorter. Or my pick. My, uh... Nice. Totally forgot about this. <laughs> All right. It's good to see my cane upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. 
I could really use the reconnaissance. So he whoa. Anything over here? Just those four spots. That's probably the closest one. Oh, really? Come on. So one, oh, oh I need to probably need to get closer. Still definitely needs to upgrade all my uh, things. I feel like I'm behind on upgrades. There's no boat. My sensors detect a Wi-Fi link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. It's an invisible boat. I probably need to get closer. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. He really didn't see me. Oh, I need to get closer. The layer of the beast. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next one. A bear. What? A bear putting out slight radio signatures? Oops. Can't I, uh... I remember. Sawmill blades. Am I too close? Oh. Just the wrong angle. I'm gonna have to go over there. Bruh! Literally fell down all the way to the bottom. Let me get this really quick. And we should be good. Those saw blades look particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way to sneak in. Okay, all the way over there. Oh my gosh, really? Really sly. Out of all the places you could grab. Go, go, go. 
He really got me, didn't he? So I gotta fly over there, huh? Yeah. What is that sound in the back? Supposed to go left now. Nice. Oh, bro, I can't even see. There we go. How high does it want me to go? Take lighthouse photos. Oh my gosh. So I wasn't supposed to climb up here. I guess that makes sense. Going inside rather than on top. Charger, huh? That's the battery charger, but where's the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. <laughs> Come on, Jean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is. What? It's tough being this That's tough? To the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. Yeah, I think I remember that we play these lumberjack games. I think I remember. Not in too, well, not guys, too entirely John sure. Well, John Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. A woolly mammoth. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. <laughs> However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house. 
steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. That's crazy. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. Yep. Let's get to work. Bentley. I'm seriously going to name my tortoise Bentley. I'll show you guys when I do. <laughs> That's going to be funny. Bear cave bugging, laser redirection, RC combat club. I'll do the bear mission first. There we go. The wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. If you can snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array. What am I looking at? House. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. Oh, I have to crawl in it. Hey, what's going on? Zeal Fork, like and sub. Appreciate it, dude. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. <laughs> Sounds safe. What Stay the heck? Clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Yo, that is so crazy. Six? There's six bears? Oh my. Oh my gosh. That is insane. I think it's going to show on screen. Let's see. Yup. Appreciate the sub, dude. Let me try going that other way. Oh, come on. Good thing it doesn't show what's going to happen next. There's one. <laughs> Yo, that bear got up so quick. Oh my gosh. He didn't even hesitate. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh my gosh. I forgot about running. Bro, that bear is so huge. That's insane. Oh, I'm supposed to jump right here because it's not that far of a gap. Three down, three more to go. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, come on. Give me a break. Oh, 
I almost ran. Where does that uh, rock go? That pillar. Let me see. Oh, nothing. It just goes up top. Get it, get it, get it! That was a close one. Let's go! Alright, let's see... I need to figure that one out. Oh, no way. It's supposed to rock climb. That makes sense. Got to pay attention to your surroundings. Nice. Oops. Does he not want to jump back up there? There we go. Nice. One more. And this one's going to be a tricky one. Because I need to rock climb all the way over there. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. Because I know something's probably going to happen. I don't want to have to go back and get the five. So there, I saved. Nice. There we go. Last one, last one. There we go. Only you could have pulled that off. Head outside and I'll fill you in on the next step. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that. Oh my gosh. Sick. Pretty good, pretty good. Let me drink some water. <laughs> really, Alvin? It's a... It's a game. <laughs> Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. The game is in the title of the... Live stream. Let's see. Okay. All right. Uh... I, I gotta climb down anyways. Nice. Go, go! Oh, I just messed up. There we go. Nice. Okay, so they're pretty much all on that side of the map. No! Why did I go back? Oh my gosh. Does that mean I have to... 
Wow, that really reset. Good thing I made a save. I can't believe that actually reset the whole mission. Nice. Only you could have pulled that off. Head outside and I'll fill you in. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to struggle completing this mission. Let's see. I'm going to have to save once I get the last one. Right there. Nice. Save it. Nice. Now I can bug the rest of the places. To form a receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bisson's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. There's one. Cool. Now that I know the other ones are over here, it should be pretty easy, pretty fast. Oh, is he really shooting me? Bro is insane. Oh my gosh. Fly, you're supposed to balance. There we go. So many enemies. Nice. Okay. So where... Oh, look, there's a woolly mammoth. Okay, on top. Perk up your ears, boys. I'm gonna tell you all the tally for last month. The moon number jack team managed to clear just 128 acres of forest. Not bad, considering they had to kill all them badgers to do it, babe. Oh, come on. There we go. Put the next one on. All right, so there's that. Uh, water tower? Is that what that is? Wait a second. I gotta climb on it. Is there a way to climb on it? No, there's not. What the heck? There's no way of getting up there either. Uh -huh. 
Bruh. Oh, oh my gosh. Alright, so... Holy cow. Nope. Bruh, this camera! And the bear. That's crazy. Why does Sly want to go down there? Oh my gosh. Come on, Sly. Grab onto the right thing. Please don't do this again today. You kept grabbing onto the wrong thing yesterday. Bro doesn't even want to jump up there. There's one. One's got to go up there. Of course, he missed. Let me just go over here. There we go. Is there anything up here? Not. R oh, I can get to uh, John Bisson's house. Alright, so far so good. Oh my gosh, Sly. Jesus. Grab onto it, please. I swear. There we go. So this time I'm going to try not to parachute. And then I got to go on top, right? Yeah. Nice. Next, I gotta go... The one in the middle, I'll say for last. Let me go ahead and go to that one. So I got to figure out how to go over there. Let me save it. Because I don't want to have to redo all of this. Finally. Just got to find the right spot. You know, I noticed that's how it is with PS2 games. PS2 games, you got to be more specific. 
But once you get into later generations, it's a little bit more flexible on the placement when it comes to games kind of like this. Get it. I believe I have another sly mission. Is that right? Or was that it? No. Okay. Laser redirection. Am I supposed to... Okay, it's up there. Let me let him pass by really quick. Take him out. Oh my gosh, Sly. You're not even grabbing on to that. Glowing hole, dude. There it is. Let me save it here, knowing how the game is. Detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial <laughs> laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. <laughs> Throw it and then head outside. Okay. Love the camera angle. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Is there... Okay. Oh, come on. Holy cow. Let me grab all these coins. Oh, here, here I go for the... Whatchamacallit, when I get all the bottles. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I'm safe on the edge. Okay, cool. Save it here. You know, you should still enjoy yourself, Zane. I mean, how many people 
get to cut down forests for a living. <laughs> nope. Oh my gosh. Don't ever forget that. Oh, I gotta hurry up. Nice. You've done it. The laser's been redirected out the window. You know, I was thinking about going under there in the beginning. <laughs> Pretty funny how the game takes you all the way around. Just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. Oh, are you serious? I didn't see the ledge. I have to go up there? Oh my gosh. There we go. Holy cow, all the way over there. Nice, got more health. Okay, so it's up there. And I can't see. Jeez. How am I supposed to get up there? knows I'm in there. Oh, I see. Wait, are there hooks over here? There we go. Water break. All right, let me go and drink some water. Bro, this laser is going the, around the whole town. I mean, I guess you got to work with what you're given, right? There we go. Did he just...
There we go. And then back up there. Okay. So that means I gotta go back on the... And of course. There we go. And the woolly mammoth. What? So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. Nice. Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. And then I think the next mission is Murray for the RC. I'll just run. I wonder what the speed time to complete this game is. There's no way that I'm close, but still clear. Can't even talk. Curious. All right, Murray gonna join the the RC club. There it is. Oh my god. Didn't even know he was in there. Oh, up there. I have to go all the way over there? Okay. Oh my gosh. He can hide in there? Didn't even know. Nice. Rumor has it that several off-duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. This is going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. Could have gotten unalive. Those guards will never let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moosehead should do the trick. Huh. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. <laughs> Am I going to play a Sly? Why would a moose club have a moose head? Just like, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Try again. Gotta go all the way around. I gotta go that way. I don't think I can go to the yeah. The right doesn't go anywhere. Nice. I'll wait again. Oh, 
What the heck? Nice. Right there. Oh, really? I can't take him down? I mean, I guess that makes sense. I gotta go all the way around. Are you serious? There we go. Oh, wait. I'll just go to the left. Right there. I can't see. Now what? Oh, that other table? Murray, heads up. <laughs> oh, mad loud. <laughs> Yelling at Murray. Hey fellas. <laughs> Any of you guys think you can beat the mur the, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. The moose? Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? A pink moose. That RC combat drone takes some skill to control. Steer with the left analog stick and hold down the X button for gas. After you collect a ball of ammo, press the square button to fire its turret. Here's a pro tip. You can only aim the turret while you're stopped. Bruh. What the heck? Why is it inverted? Bruh. I have no idea how to... What? This is why is this so difficult to control? Steer with the left analog stick. He's going to take himself out. Oh, just kidding. He was pretty close to taking himself out. Why is it inverted? I need to con fix that. Inverted turret controls on. So I can only turn a little bit or else it starts going backwards. What the heck? 
How do you... This is going to take me a few tries. Yo, why does it do that? I wish I could show you my controls. Like right now, I'm holding right, but I'm turning left. Same thing. Whoa. Why does it have to be this difficult? There's no way my analog controls are that messed up like last time. Am I going to get stuck on this part? Look at that. How do I even go backwards? Oh my gosh. Money, but I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. Nice. That was so ridiculous. There's one point where I was just holding X to go and it was moving by itself. After raiding through the log direction wise, guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, mm. grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way, it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, <laughs> this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? 97%. <laughs> Specifically. All right, uh, I believe it Murray has a mission. Yeah, we all do. All right, so let me go and do Murray's first. Nice. 
up there. If we're gonna get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. Oh. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. <laughs> Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish, do I? Oh. How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water, and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. Oh, that makes sense. How am I supposed to He's not going over there Like this? Oh. Nice work. Trot old grizzle face over to the next world by luring him with fish. Where's the bear? Do I need to lure him? That bear can run pretty fast. He's on the way. Oh. Oh, nice. Let me see. Oh my gosh, I sneezed. Excuse me. Let's see. Bro, really? Grizzle face has caught the scent. He's coming. I literally walked right past them. Where is he? I think he's running over there. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> the goat. There might be one or two more. Look like, looks like it's just that one. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, snap. 
Dang, all the way over there? Let me get one more fish. Oh, there we go. Bears coming. Ooh, he's coming pretty close. Oh, that's how I get up here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Dick. Let's go ahead and go back. One hit KO. Really? There we go. Do another bottle. I'll get that really quick. Oh, I can't jump up there. Nice. Are you serious? That bird got me? Was not expecting that. Alright, let's see. I gotta go to the boat, huh? What the heck was that? That was weird. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. <laughs> Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. All right. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days, my aim is impeccable. How am I supposed to? Oh. Dude. There we go. I can't even see. There we go. Now to hack the steering controls. Oh, nice. More hacking. Let's get it. Oh, what the heck? Are those supposed to be mines? A 
Okay, I can destroy them. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was close. Nice. Nice work hacking the autopilot. The boat's heading into position. I'm already on top of the silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me, and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. All right, he's on top of the silo. So right there. Oh, way higher. Oh, way higher. There we go. The hook's in place. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. Next boat. It is over there. Are they both over there? Looks like it. Run! What? It landed right there? Are you serious? Get him, Murray, get him. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait. Do I just jump? Or, there's no, no. I can't jump that far. What? I thought I was supposed to come over here. I got to get up there? Nice. Oh my gosh. He almost missed. Yo, Sleeper, what's going on, dude? How have you been? It has been a while. Oh, snap. It was your birthday a couple days ago. Nice, dude. Happy belated birthday. My gosh, she almost ran into me. Right there. Did you do anything fun on your birthday? Go out. Hang out with friends and family. I gotta shoot this one high. Right there. Nice. The second hook's in place. 
One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on it. So now, yeah, now I go to that last one over there. Run! Oh my gosh. I almost ran into that bear trap. Oh, right here. I was wondering what happened to that guy. <laughs> I guess he just prefers to be frozen. There we go. I was going to hang out with friends, but none can make it. I'll probably do it a different day. Yeah. As, as we get older, you know, everyone has their own lives. But if you could do it another day, that'd be awesome. That'd be pretty fun. I know I've had to do that a couple times. Reschedule and all that. Oh, snap. Go, 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 go. Four layers now, huh? Oh my gosh. That's pretty cool, dude. Hope you had a good birthday, man. Gotta get to that silo. Gonna put Sly to sleep? <laughs> I actually hit him, that's funny. Pretty close to beating this game. Just this level and one more. Let me get that really quick. Put that on just in case. Right there, perfect. Oh, snap! All right, now Sly, I believe he's got two missions. Yep. Yeah, I don't see anything else. What is up there? Oh, just a train, I guess? Well, I'll take that. Oh, he didn't even make it. Okay, let's... Okay, so I gotta get up there. And I gotta get all the way up there. Oh. 
He knew where I was? What the heck? That lighthouse is the conduit for collecting the northern lights. We need to shut it down, or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy, making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. <laughs> Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. What? Was Salai playing with his hat again? With his weird, uh... I shouldn't say weird. But with his, uh... <laughs> spiky hairdo? It's like it sticks up, kind of. I don't know. It just looks funny graphically. Let's see. There we go. Let's keep going up. Gosh, it's really hard to see. He's still looking the wrong way. I don't even know if they intentionally did that with Sly's hat. More stealthy. Hey there, all you boys for the lighthouse. The lumberjack games are coming, so make sure to practice up on your log chopping ice. Nice. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, I fight Bison uh, at the bottom. Oh, come on, Sly, dude. No, I'm not even... I'm not even doing anything with my controller right now. Is it, is it starting to get stick drift? That is wild. Though I need a new controller. Hold on. Yeah, I have stick drift now. So I'm going to have to recalibrate it. In the... Uh, controllers. I'll do that later, though. Unless it's really bad. Rip, I know. This is... I'm using the OG PS3 controller, too. Sucks, but uh, it is what it is. I mean... How old is the controller now? Like, uh... What? PS3 came out in, what? 2006? 2008? So, this controller is like 16 years old. How am I... Where am I supposed to go now? Let me save it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go.
What am I supposed to do here? Oh. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that Northern Light Attractor. It'll be slagging minutes. Hmm. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit brake. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. Flip the switch at the top of the lighthouse before it's too late. I think it's already too late. I was too busy reading. Oh, come on, really? Oh my gosh. This is heavier than it looks. Bruh. No, that's it. I have to restart the mission. Bruh. Alright, well, at least that will let me reset. Oh my gosh, Sly. Dude, you need to get some new shoes that have better grip. And I keep... Yeah, I think I'm going to need to get a new controller. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. This doesn't help that it wants to go the other way. I think I was supposed to climb the rope in the middle. I remember doing that when I originally played. Okay, cool. So it's just this mission up here then. Wait. No, I think I have to go on the top top. And I can't see. In order to overcome Jean Bisson in the Lumberjack game, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Look at Sly's hat. Steal one of the eggs, <laughs> and then bring it safely back to the safe house. <laughs> we'll use it to direct the eagle's protective instincts against Bisson. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. <laughs> Why swim when you can paraglide? When the oil mains all destroyed, the pent up combustible materials have just caught fire. Did that I boat see. just sink? The updraft created by the flames should give me some extra altitude. 
Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close, and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. <laughs> Okay. So basically I gotta go from one to another. Barely making it. Nice. Holy cow, look how much altitude I have. Now, what about getting back? Not bad. Excellent job. If you could get that eagle egg back to the safe house, we'll be all set for the lumberjack game. Sick. Let me climb up this really quick. Should go to the safe house and then we should be done. Oh. Great work, Sly. Sick. Now for the final phase. The Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassan at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then <laughs> let us on up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. <laughs> Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Asan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some <laughs> nearby grappling lines. What? And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous <laughs> score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basad's log so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. Did Bentley just write a math formula? So, okay, so it's just Bentley then. All right, let's go. Let's get okay, it. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. <laughs> Meet up with John Bissot. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate <laughs> in your lumberjack game. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play. So long as you pay the entry fee. 
Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. Thanks. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Let's get it. Not like anyone's ever going to beat my record, but let them try. Not bad, Hippo. But watch and learn. Nice. I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw <laughs> off his the axe timing. Wait, how am I supposed to walk over there? I have to go all the way around? Oh, <laughs> what? The egg broke before you got to John Bisson. Am I supposed to throw it? Like, I don't understand. Oh, the ice things are moving. Bruh. Oh, there's an egg on the... <laughs> they actually put the egg with the egg white and yolk. Oh my gosh. It's still there. Just keep moving. So I gotta move perpendicular. Come on. Oh, snap. Right there. Oh my gosh. Right there. This is like Mario. Bruh. It's not lining up. There it is. <gasps> There's my chance. GG's. I'm running out of time. Bruh. Only had one chance. That for expert axemanship. That's fine. At least I know how to do it now. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. I'm gonna have to go to the next one. Dang it. Right there. Let's go. Right there. Right there. That was a little bit. Oh, right there. Perfect. <laughs> he books it. <laughs> He's just standing there. Oh, <laughs> they gave him all zeros. Scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? <laughs> so your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. What the heck? Woo! Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Hurry! Use those grapples to hook onto Bison. You will need 
to hook it with all three lines to pull him off the wall. Dang. There's one. Oh my gosh, that was way off. Bro! Oh, he's already at the top. Oh my gosh. Applause for that masterful display of climbing. Bro, he's quick with the climbing. That is insane. There we go. First one. It likes to overshoot a lot. L look at that. Oh my gosh. Right there. Oh, they brought him down. <laughs> again did i ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who oh. mistakenly gave me a score other than 10 that's wild i see we're tied with only one event to go unfortunately for you i've saved my best event for the last Spinning log competition. Let's get it. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Oh, snap. Woo. Dang, Bentley's got some moves. Oh no! Those <laughs> aren't good at nothing. Dang. That's savage. I just need to give myself enough time to uh, see which one's going down. Halfway there. Oh, oh my gosh. I was almost too late. Come on. Oh my gosh. Wasn't sure which one was going to go down. Easy. Got in the bag. guys need to go okay i'm just making this up on the fly but what if i were to lure the judges one by one into <laughs> that cave once inside you two will knock them out and take their clothes ingenious what? when all three judges have been restrained we'll be able to dot our disguises and take their place at the judges table Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave that's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Dang, so I gotta lure the judges? That's insane. How am I supposed to lure them? Like this? Oh yeah, there. You can't be seen by any of the judges. Okay. So I... <laughs> There's no purpose of pickpocketing them.
This would have been a good time. I don't have the alarm clock gadget. Oh, I do! He must have gave it to me. I don't use that one. Right here? Oh my gosh, she's going all the way back? Bruh. Perfect. Oh, look. <laughs> what the heck? They, they took his beak, too? I'm not going to have enough time. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough time. Look at that. Was there ever any question of my supremacy? Yeah. Damn, I didn't have enough time. Okay, okay, come on. Should be easy now. Now they were we got everything under control. I'll read your comment right now. Uh, I, I think I saw a sleeper comment. Let me see. Why do they need to replace every judge he loses if only one doesn't say 10? True. Big brain sleeper. <laughs> Bell keeps falling. Oh. What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. <laughs> well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take him? Yeah, I knew I was going to have to fight him. Oh. GG's. Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly, Murray, wake up. Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. <laughs> Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... 
Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. <laughs> I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Nice. Whoa, it's a... Oh, it's a pipe. I didn't know that. Yeah. You okay? I think I fight... I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my... Breath. Oh. Well, now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. <laughs> well, I... Just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Oh. Look, the thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. <laughs> Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. <laughs> Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissan. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. Blades! Blades! Uh-huh. Blades! Okay, I gotta figure out which one's which. There you go. Right here, right here. Nice. <laughs> what did he say? Damn. Cook up. Duck. How's that? Oh my gosh, I almost got myself. Blades, blades. Okay. Fire up. On it. Sauce? How's that? Blades, blades. Uh huh. Ooh, health. I'll take that. Oh, too late, too late. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I almost got myself. And I got myself. I got him. Braids triumph over broad. First try? That's pretty crazy. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Besson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Dang. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. 
If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Shake a leg! That blimp's on its way! Where? Where do we go? Oh, over there. On top of the silo. I guess. I think there's a jump pad. Just kidding. Sly's got it. Oh yeah, there is a jump pad. Wait, why does he need to toss me if there's a jump pad? <laughs> I guess. An extra step. Dang. That looks insane. One more level. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that Jean Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. Dang. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. GG's to the van. Yup, I'm on the last episode. Anatomy for disaster. Let's see if I can finish it by today. I thought I was going to play Jack 3, but there I guess we not. Heading east across the Atlantic Ocean. Maybe. Stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius. And it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes. And now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together. And when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. Crazy. Let's get it. Those are new guys. They look like two cans. I gotta sneeze again. Okay. Ooh, bottle. Interesting. Let me go to go over there. Let's see. Are you serious? That egg knocked me off. Oh, 
Oh. This place, I remember this place. I thought it was a piece of bread for a second. <laughs> Oh, these are to hide? Interesting. Are you serious? Okay. Did someone see me? Okay, so up there. How am I supposed to get over there? Oh, no way. Forgot about that. Nice. My instruments have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find it. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build a plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Do I need to fly over there? Yes, I do. That's insane. Can I just take pictures? Oh, no. I have to actually go over there. Okay, nice. Let's get it. I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast. What the heck? Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. <laughs> if you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. So I gotta take a picture of those, huh? A little bit more. Too close? Right there. These magnetic <laughs> inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. What else? I need to take a picture of his head and a mech egg. Are there any mech eggs? I can't pickpocket him. Oh, I can't even do that. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh. These Same thing. <laughs> seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Oops. Uh, okay. So, is there anything I can climb on? I've heard that sound before. Sounds familiar. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance.
Where's the mech egg? I think it's underneath. Let me go ahead and go over there. Oh, snap! Oh, I can't move in this one like I can in Sly 1 when I'm in the barrel. Oh, look it! I just noticed that. <laughs> They're... They're not that tall. Get underneath! Where the heck is the mech egg? <laughs> oh, it was behind me that entire time. Does he want me to go see? No, no! I just reset the mission. My instruments have picked up large bacteria radiating from inside that blimp. If arpeggios already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find it. Sounds good. I'm on Can't my skip way. this. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the flip and take the recon photos. To at least I know flip, where everything's at. need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Damn, I didn't think I had to go to the front because it didn't give me a task on the binoculars. But I guess, I guess so. I, I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast. Oh, calm down, Bentley. I see a uh, one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. Okay, come on. There's a mech egg. From inside those mech eggs, I wouldn't get too close. And then, there we go. And the last but not least. What the heck? Why did it glitch out like that? of the blimp and it's not arpeggio it's N nayla is that her name nayla nila nila's here 
Oh, am I supposed to take a picture? Oh, that's such a great picture. What the heck? There he is. The master mind behind this blip yeah. and the source of all our problems. Oh my gosh, this camera. I can't believe it. She must have been working with Arpeggio all along. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. <laughs> Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Oh. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. I guess that makes sense. There's one. Holy cow, that is extremely close. I don't like that. There's another key. Oh, snap. Another key. And the fourth one. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Right there. Sick. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducer. There we go. Oh, down there? Oh, I see one right there. Oh wow, I'm actually supposed to jump on it. Just kidding. What the heck? Oh my. You know what? I'm going to save it. I don't want to have to redo everything. Whoa, buddy. I just messed up. And they got me again. 
Oh my gosh, just kidding. So that red one's good. If they're blue, then that means I need to do it. But if they're red, that means they're good. I think. I don't know. That one's that one's blue, I guess. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Let's got to wait for the next one. I guess it's easier to go over there to get it on its way up instead of going down. Let me actually do that instead. Way easier and quicker. There we go. Sick. Oh. What? What's all this then? The magnets have been reversed. Hey, but by Jove. It seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent! Sly Cooper! Huh. Of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew. All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Dang. Immortality. Immortality is what I seek. The other core gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members, all the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper, what kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting northern light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, that's crazy. Those who've eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork the spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Neela, and keep him covered. 
Oh, so I gotta fight her? Oh. Stupid arpeggio. I double crossed the Koopa guy, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? Dang. This is preposterous. You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or. or. Oh. Oh my gosh. She's ruthless. Clockla is born. Clockla? <laughs> Dang. I got to fight her right here. Oh no, I guess not. That's crazy. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, ah. that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. Dang. We pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. All right, let's see what missions we got. Murray, Sly, Tag Team. Oh, so yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so Sly's got two. I don't know why they're so sky high. Pretty crazy. Can I jump on these? she is okay so I gotta go down there some heavy explosives Bentley because that engine isn't small it just so happens that there's already supply of explosives already available on the blimp dang walk one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it sounds easy enough what's the catch the initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job dang if you pick up three magnetic chargers you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right, let's blow stuff up. So... I'm assuming those dots are the magnetic charges? Where's the TNT thing? TNT barrel. This is so turning it so slow. Um. see a TNT barrel. Is 
Is that where it's at? I don't think so. Is it? I can't see. No, those are the things that I have to detonate. Bro, where are the TNT barrels? Are they underneath? Bruh. Just, uh, restart. I don't even know where the TNT barrels are at. Grab an explosive barrel and collect all three boosters. But where are the... Oh, it's right there. Oh my gosh. So, okay. I'll go to the furthest one then. Oops. Bruh. I'm gonna have to jump out and take him out. Taking too long. No! Is he gonna come up here? Okay, good. Nope. I'm gonna run into him on the other side. Now, I wonder if there's more than one spot for the barrel. Wait, what? Oh, it's right there, huh? Yeah. Oh, I have to pick it up. <laughs> so that means I have to keep walking around. Hopefully I don't have to come back over here. I have a feeling that I will though. Which is a lot of back and forth. See where it's at? Up above. I gotta go on that platform where that guy's at, and I can't jump out. He's gonna turn around.
I need to keep going up too. Okay, so I gotta go to the middle somehow. How the heck am I supposed to get over there? Oh, oh my gosh, so I have to like I said, I have to go back. <laughs> so ridiculous. So I gotta get on that platform. What's he doing? Is there going to be a uh, elevator? Kind of? Yes, there is. And of course, I should have went the right way the first time. I was actually going to go the right way, but I decided to correct myself. Yeah, but that was wrong. There we go. Nice. So now I can go to both platforms. And grab the magnetic piece. Where is it? Oh my gosh. I will grab that after. Come on, dude. Whoa, come on. Hurry up. gonna stand next to me isn't he okay good he's not so now let me go back and then I'll just drop down Oh my gosh. Barrel all charged up. It's time to deliver the payload to that engine. Where's the engine at? Is 
So now I gotta go all the way back. <sighs> this is absolutely insane. I'm gonna wait till this guy passes. Wait till the light passes. Like so. to go to the right wing and someone's oh I thought someone's gonna come down here please don't go up oh my gosh this part's gonna make me fall asleep <laughs> taking so long Now I gotta wait for this thing to turn. Oh my gosh. Oh my, I don't wanna slip. Knowing how sly is. Look at that, oh my gosh. He almost just fell. Oh, that could have been the end. You know what, let me save it. Cause I don't, I do not wanna do that again. I want to see where it starts me off. <laughs> Would I have to do it again? <laughs> oh, it's all charged up. Okay, good thing I saved it. Just gotta wait for this guy to pass by, taking his time. Smell you later. That should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. Holy cow. Alright, so now what? Next mission? What? It's just floating. Oh my gosh, that made me jump. And what the heck, I can't get up there? Wait, 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 wait. Can I get on these ropes? Okay, cool. Take your position. It's not gonna take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. Uh, hold on. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna turn the fan on. It's getting pretty warm.
All right, I'm back. Holy cow, I was 40 seconds behind on stream on my phone. Okay. So I need to pickpocket that guy. Oh my gosh. Go! That egg is floating. Bro, everyone's going to see me right now. So who's the next one? Way over there. Do I have anyone over here? I do. I got to pickpocket that guy. Oh, I got to distract him. Oh, I, oh wait, perfect. I could do this. Go, Sula! I'm gonna have to do it again. There we go. Five keys. Okay, let's see. One, two. Two. Where's the fifth key? Oh, it's up there. Are you serious? All right. Well, at least I'm not walking in a barrel anymore. Second one, where is it? Or the third one, I should say. He's all the way over there. How do you get over there? Water break. Water break. Right there. Nice. Got him. Now I could traverse through everything. Go up top. To the tippity top. Let's see. All the way up there, right? At least one of them is, yeah. Isn't that where I just was? That's where I had to deliver the barrel. Right there. Sick. Run! Nice. Okay, last key. Where are ya? Probably 
Oh, there it is. Just gotta wait for him to pass a little bit, and then I can parachute over there. Or paraglide. Oh my gosh. Almost bumped into him. Which is, I believe, over there? Over there, okay. Does that mean I have to go to the top again? Wait, 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 wait. Nice. Let's go, Bentley. Okay, Bentley, you're on. <laughs> He's guarding me. <laughs> That's funny. Now I have to play as Bentley, I'm assuming. Hey, Bentley, I'm looking at these uh, blueprints, and I think you've got to shoot out all the bolts with your dart gun to get up to the second level. Here's the hard part. Once you shoot the bolt, you'll need to then take out the bolt, the electricity. <laughs> Oh, okay. Bruh. So, that's a lot of bulbs. Make sure when you shoot a bulb, you then take out the bulb the electricity is going to. So, like, that one, and then I'll take out this one. And then one more that's coming over here. I'll get that one. And this one. Keep it going. That one's going pretty slow. Same thing with that one. Sick. Oh, good thing that didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. I noticed it aims a little bit to the bottom left. What the heck? Let me save it. I have to bomb the power nodes? Like that? Oh, these power nodes? Oh, I guess so. So I can't... Okay. So I just gotta walk on the edge then. If that's the case.
Oh, but this... Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is easy. I'm over... Uh, I'm overthinking it. I'm nuking it. That's what we used to call it in the military. Nuking it. I think I explained why <laughs> before. Let's go. He's going to hack it. Oh, no, it's just a lever. That's one less engine for that creepy clock thing to draw power from. <laughs> you want to hear why? <laughs> okay. So the reason why in the military we call nuking it is because... So... I don't know if you know what the ASVAB is. So the ASVAB is a test that you take to see what jobs you can uh, apply for. It's basically like, it, it's in, uh, I forgot what it stands for. What do I have to do? I have to leave? Uh, so the ASVAB is basically a test to see where your knowledge is at uh, on like general things, uh, whether it be math, reading, uh, Mechanical knowledge, electrical knowledge. Basically, a lot of, you know, either office job or blue collar job knowledge to see what best fits your knowledge in where you're at at that moment. So you take that, and a lot of uh, people that get a nuclear jobs place really high. They place like 99 to 100%. So they basically get all the questions right. And, um,. Let me take this guy out. And uh, since they test really high, they get the, the nuclear job because, uh, you know, they just know a lot about mechanical and electrical knowledge. And uh, the, re <laughs> the reason why we call nuking it is because uh, during school, uh, I took electronic school, uh, some weaponry, but ma mainly electronic school. Uh, but anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, apparently, uh, during school, nuke for nukes. It depends. Uh, I I went to school first. I went to school with some nukes, um, and they overthink a lot. So <laughs> they overthink a lot. Sometimes they doubt themselves because they like you know, they just. I don't know how to I don't know another way to explain it but they just they second guess themselves so when you when they say that you nuked it what it means is that like they uh, they overthink it and because they so they are they originally knew but they since they overthought it they got it's it wrong the engine, so that's kind of nuking it I won't lie to you Murray this is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills my skills Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the station's controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. The Murray will be ready to go. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. It's not meant as an insult either. It's just, uh, just a phrase, just a funny phrase. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> Bentley. But yeah, I say that here and there as a as a friendly joke. Like they used to, I remember we used to take a uh, uh, class in the military and when it'd be time to take the test today, our instructor would always say, don't nuke it. <laughs> Bruh. All right, wait. Wait, I'm lost. Where'd I go? There's one. Are they under me? Is that why I can't see them? Or do I have to do them in order? I mean, I will say I do overthink a lot, so... <laughs> there, there are times where I do... Uh, Nuke it. <laughs> Sounds funny to say, but what the heck? Kind of 
Come on. I guess I have to do an order. <laughs> Bentley's looking at the blueprints. All right, let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> He's barely hanging on the barrel. Okay, okay. Health, I'll take that any day. All right, I think it pointed over here, right? Yep, right there. Oh, nice, I get to hack. Ooh, I get to bounce it around. Sick. You know what? I'll just point at them. I don't know why I... <laughs> Wrong way. Cool. There we go. A little bit more. Nice. There we go. Let's get it. Oh, I do have to do an order. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Let's go. Put him to sleep really quick. Here's your present. See you later. <laughs> oh, he sees me. I have to hide. That guy's crazy. Let me just do that really quick so I can see where it's at. I think it's upstairs. Probably why I can't see it. Don't tell me I have to go back. Uh, yeah, it's up there. Dang it. Oh well. Right here, let's go. And then I gotta go up the same way. Go to sleep, dude. See you later. <laughs> I choke around too much. <laughs> I'm so aware. Okay, let's go. Come on, this is the last mission. Not the last mission, but the last uh, episode. Quote unquote episode. Dude, why does. Oh my gosh. There we go. What? Alright, there. Oh, I gotta unlock two doors. Okay. Dang it. No! There we go. Bruh. Oh my gosh, they're just ramming into me. That's insane. Let me just do that really quick. Flip it over.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, they're fast. What the heck? That is insane. Nice. Let me get that really quick. Oh, oh, oh. Can I put him to sleep? Oh my gosh, I left four bombs. <laughs> I think that's the most I've ever left before. Okay, so I got to go back because the last one's on that platform. I don't know why it does that. That's weird. Run! Run! Did I lose him? I don't even know where to go. <laughs> Here, I'll just go. And the last one is right here. Easy. Same thing. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, they're going to keep spawning. Oh, my gosh. They're strong. What the heck? There. Go, 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 go. Sick. Make way for the Murray. Hey, pal. Looks like you'll need to lift all those giant cylinders. Once they're locked in the up position, you'll be able to take them out from the top level. Ah. Oh, so I gotta spam it? I do. <laughs> I got company. Yeah, and I got stuck on a chair. Oh, it's like a regular plug. It's a regular plug on the ground. That's funny. He's going to wake up right now. As you can tell, I'm spamming X because I always jump at the end. Bruh. Nice. Who wants some? He's, <laughs> He's trying to run through the glass. They're so polite, waiting till I'm done. Nice work. Head up to the second level and thunder plop on the giant cylinders. That should finish them off. Let's see. Oh, am I supposed to do that? Okay. Nice. 
Nice. Now, head into the control booth and pull the plug on this thing. Ooh, health. I'll take that. Another engine bites the dust. Sick. I'm thinking that I'll stream, I'll continue to stream today until I'm done with this game. Because since I'm basically, I'm pretty much done with it. This is the last level. I've already done a few missions. So however long it takes me, I'll finish it. Which I don't think it'll take me that long. That way I can just start a fresh game tomorrow. So now it's Murray's mission, right? Yep. <clears throat> so I gotta jump over here. some help getting into that engine room happy to help bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall mounted power stations located throughout this blimp i'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand no sweat sly okay Ooh, let me get that really quick nice Going to break it really quick. Uh, oh, do I have to uh, knock someone out? I think I have to knock someone out. Any volunteers? Of course, no one's around me. <laughs> oh, there. Did that work? Oh, expl I, need I probably need explosives, huh? That makes more sense. There's one. Sounds like something like uh, from Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Dang, so I gotta take out five of them? That's crazy. Next one. Four, they're all over there, all four of them? that again. Okay, cool. Oh, it's under? Are you serious? They're both... Okay. Bruh. Okay, where is it? I know there's that one. Any more explosives? There's this one. <laughs> I think that works. Can I throw anything at it? Oh, it does. Or, I can. 
Yo, my English is so off right now. I mean, it is the towards the end of stream. So, I'm a, <laughs> I might be a little bit worn out, but it's all good. One more? I don't think... Yeah, I can't pick up that light bulb. Right there. Nice. Now to the other side. And same spots. Pretty much it's, it's pretty much mirrored. Oh, this guy. Nice. Got some more health. Oh, nice. I destroyed it. And then... Oh, it's right there. It's hiding. Let me get this barrel. Oh, I gotta go back. Dang, Murray's got some moves. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, over there. Up top? I think so. So that means. Okay. Go! Bob and Weave, Murray, Bob and Weave. Bominos. Eat that. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, I'm assuming. The only reason why I flash my Binocu comms is because. Instead of just looking around with my Benaki comes, I could just look around uh, regularly. And it'll still have the notification where I need to go. Nice. Oh my gosh. Right there. All right, the control center is opposite oh. your position in the room. With some well-timed fire coming. Oh no. No, I need to pay attention to which ones are spinning and which ones are not spinning. Not bad, kind of have a pattern. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Almost didn't make it. That's lights out for this engine. Sick. Man, those missions did take a while. Hopefully this is it. And an unexpected windfall. I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. 
She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Clockla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy Your headers the are gonna head out. Bird. All right, sleeper. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. It was good having you in chat, dude. Hopefully, I see you later. Position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris. And if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. This is a long dialogue. <laughs> hope your headache goes away, dude. And hope you beat the game. Yeah, hopefully, dude. Hopefully sooner than later. Sooner I beat this, sooner I can get to Jack. Sooner I get to Jack, sooner I beat that and move on to Pokemon. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. <laughs> By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. Wait, so where do I need to go? Oh, okay. So I think it's those big things. Yeah. It makes traveling a lot easier, I will say that. What the heck? Oh my gosh, dude, Sly, come on. There's one. Oh. Wow. Slide literally chose the one on the bottom. Probably gotta be in the middle, yeah. And I hit my head, of course. Oh my god. Sly! And he does he just does not want to grab onto it. He doesn't wanna Do I have to do it quick or something? Like I don't get it. over here no 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 he literally chose to balance on the blue thing up here instead of trying to go to the top Now he's going to struggle getting up there. Like, there's not even a grab button either. There we go. Jeez.
Nice. Right here, this should be good. Nice. Last one is on that. Yep. Let me just paraglide over there really quick. Hopefully I can make it. Oh, sick. Probably gonna hit my head, yeah. Wasn't too far off. Nice. Dang. Looks like Carmelita has picked up on our signal. She's now headed on an intercept course directly for us. Uh, so now. Carmelita's gunner. Oh, I don't have my pack anymore? My mega jump pack? Dang. Nice. I'm assuming, uh, okay, yeah, I go to the same spot. Oh, I can jump up there. Okay, cool. Didn't mean to do that on purpose. Chit chat. <laughs> this guy. Let's get it. Dang, that's a hollow point missile. What the heck is that? How am I, what am I supposed to do with these? I think, yeah, the, I'm supposed to shoot the ring. Oh, I turn it on and off. Look, watch. There, see? That makes sense.
No, dude. I'm literally w one HP. <laughs> one HP. Okay, I know the dealio now, so. Should be able to do it this time. This analog aiming, though, I just can't get used to it. Bruh, I keep aiming above it. Oh my gosh, this analog aiming. Okay, let's go. The reason why I paused it was because my thumb was just getting tired. You should have been a cop? That's crazy. Telling Sly that? Sly! Sly! We've got a serious problem here. Clockola's looking mighty upset, and I think she's going to take it out on us. Oh! She took the whole base? <laughs> the lookout base? Oh, don't tell me I gotta jump off and. Uh, <laughs> I'm coming, guys. Hold on. That's crazy. Ouch! Ow! Falling! Falling! This is crazy. My life is literally flashing before my eyes. Okay, Bentley, calm down. Literally. <laughs> Am I supposed to go that way? Oh, I don't like the look of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Bentley, relax. Imagine I wasn't supposed to jump to her.
So now what? Do I just... Oh! <laughs> Was I supposed to have been patient? I don't get it. Do I have to go to the other side? Tail, maybe? Don't really quite get it. Oh, GG's. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think I get it. I have to wait till she, uh, like that. She's gonna shoot, and then we go. Why, Sly? Why do you gotta go to the back of the tail? Oh, I gotta get the other side. That makes sense. There we go. Sick. We... We did it. Right on. It's an emotional moment. Watch out. That thing's still kicking. Yep. It's gonna self-destruct. Lakla mentioned something about a heat chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. Oh. I'll pry open that thing so that family can go to town with his bombs. Oh, I think I remember. Oh my gosh. Wait. I hate you, Cooper Gang. I will find you in your sleep and I will destroy you. She's virtual now? What do I have to do? <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. What? Put her to sleep. up in a wheelchair spoilers I'll be playing part three pretty soon anyways I forgot how he ended up like that but obviously now I remember and there it just we showed. were at the end of the road the claw gang had been defeated and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps yet despite the explosion they remained pristine it was as if nothing could ever hurt them Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. 
The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. Dang. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, <laughs> she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Dang. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my <laughs> capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours. A fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. Huh. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before oh. taking off. <laughs> Dang! Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! Crazy. I'll be seeing you soon, Green Tail. Pretty good. Pretty good. Honestly, it did. Did this game take longer to play than the first one? I think it did. And I'd say this one's pretty good. Up to par with the first one. Obviously, the graphics are better because, you know, it's a sequel. And the graphics get even better in part three. But part four, I don't know about part four. Is there any way I could skip this? Chris Murphy? As in Eddie Murphy's brother? Inspector Carmelita Fox continues to search for Sly Cooper. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I can skip it. Oh, it shows how everyone... <laughs> Did everyone end up good after Sly got him? The most successful real estate broker. <laughs> Gene Bison went on to work for the EPA. <laughs> Literally everyone became... And ended up frozen yet again. Everyone became good. How ironic. All right. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and play. Okay, that's it. You've seen everything. You won. Go outside. That's wild. Telling me to go outside. I actually went outside this morning, so. Literally 99% done. What's left is probably all the... the bottles. Okay, so... This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and see the intro for Jack 3. Then after that...
Actually, hold on. And then after that, I'll probably end stream. Here's Jack 3. Check it out. Uh, no, I'm going to reset it. Check out Jack 3 intro. See what it's about. Holy cow, it's pretty loud, huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me turn the game down. Let me pause it. Because I turned it up for... Uh, for Sly. There, it should be better. By order of the Grand Council of Haven City, for heinous acts and crimes against the people, you are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage. I am outraged beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous <laughs> decree. Yeah, we want a recount. Oh, I see you wish to join him. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack. Stay out of the sun. Drink lots of water, if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's I an order. Break. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. Dexter, don't thank me. I'm only here because you wouldn't last a second without me. <laughs> okay, tough guy. You got us into this mess. Now you gotta get us out. Ah, what a team we'll make. Let's just get moving. <sighs> but which way? That way. That way. Oh, and I suppose you know where you're going, huh? Better than you do, Bent Beak. Uh, let's just move. This was all your stupid idea. No, it was yours. Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. <laughs> Let's go with him. We'll help together. I mean, we'll <laughs> die together. I can't believe the city hates us. We saved those lowlifes. Jack, the city's divided. Reports say new crimson death bots are holding the vital section of the industrial area. Okay, okay. They're getting their asses kicked. I don't want to I don't want to watch too much because I want to save some for tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and pause it here. And what I'll do is switch scenes. And then we'll watch the rest tomorrow. We'll go to watch the whole thing and then we'll finish the intro and then continue playing. Yeah. I just realized I never closed Rainbow Six from this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. It's already five o'clock. It's a little bit over actually. Um, but yeah, I, uh, what, Monday, Tuesday, what, today's Wednesday. Let me see. So it took me three days to complete slide two. It might take me an additional three, four, four days to finish Jack 3. I'm not going to play Jack Friday. Friday's going to be short stream. Uh, definitely uh, for sure this time. So yeah. So tomorrow's going to be Jack 3. I'm going to start off with Rainbow Six. And that's pretty much it. 
So let me go and have the little one say what needs to be said. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell, get notified when I go live. Stay in. Peace out. See you guys next time. All right. So that's pretty much it for stream today. Uh, really appreciate all you guys showing up. You guys are all awesome for that. And yeah. Is the pizza for you and me? <laughs> I always say that part. Oh, look, it's Rayman. Anyways, uh, hope, hopefully you guys uh, have a good rest of your day. Stay zen, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Wow. Wow. Wow.